mabuhay or into pampangan luwit kayo. By now, you've probably already seen an episode or two of At Home and Abroad. And many of you are probably thinking, wait, what? Kirby's not doing history videos? No, don't worry, I'm still doing my No History and Ask Kirby videos. But, At Home and Abroad is a new series that I'll be working on in the coming weeks, months, or even years. It's a new series I'll be doing on my experiences, sharing my experiences, my reflections, and the impacts of the people I've met and the places I've visited. Although it will not document my everyday life, nor will it show you every place I visit, it will give you a glimpse of my experiences, of the topics I find interesting, of the issues I care about, and of the people I've met. And I know it may not sound history per se, but if you really think about it, today's current events is tomorrow's history. So what's with the title? At Home and Abroad. The title and this entire new vlog series was inspired by the best-selling book of my great-grand-uncle, Renato Katok Tayag. His classic book, Tayag at Home and Abroad, does not only document his own journey across the seas, but it also highlights the the diverse experiences and the inspiring stories of the people he encountered and the places he visited. So I thought it would be a fitting title to my new series. And it's also my way of honoring him. Wait, is it really a new series? Yes, because it is a new thing that I'll be doing on top of my No History and Ask Kirby videos that you all love. But no, it's not entirely new because when I first started YouTube back in 2005, I think it was a few months after they started YouTube. Back then, my work has been more on cinematic short documentaries and short skits. And then, when I moved to Davis, when I started college at the University of California, Davis, I also started daily vlogging my life at the dorms and as a college student in general, as a college student away from home. And it was also around the same time when Instagram started and people used to make fun of me for taking pictures of my food, taking videos of my food, at the dining halls in the dorms before I ate. My friends made fun of me. But now everyone's doing it. In fact, because of that, I was actually offered a job by the university along with a few other students to vlog and blog about student life. And everyone was excited. We were all excited to start. We had an entire summer to prepare and plan for the entire school year ahead. But then the financial crisis hit and it hit hard. There were budget cuts everywhere and our entire program was gutted. But it's all good. It's been many years now and I'm still doing what I love doing. Oh, and back when I was a little kid, for as long as I can remember, I, I've known I've always wanted to make documentaries. I remember staying up late at night, every weeknight, watching documentaries on Philippine television. Because back then, or maybe still now, in the Philippines, they aired documentaries every weeknight from 10 p.m. or 11 p.m. onwards. So I'd stay up watching the probe team, watching eyewitness, people, and of course, on the weekends, there was also my all-time favorite, Five and Up. Five and Up was a TV show where children as young as five years old were empowered to do their own investigative journalism. I remember being really inspired by that. But little did I know that one of the hosts of Five and Up that I used to watch turns out to be one of my own cousins. I also remember as a little kid filming my toys, pretending to make my own documentaries in our backyard. So yes, making documentaries, sharing stories of people, especially those we don't normally hear from, has always been a passion for me. So this, at home and abroad, is my little attempt, my baby steps attempt in getting back into it. So hopefully, You'll all like it, you'll enjoy it, you'll learn something from it, and that uh, you'll continue to support my work. And that is it for me today. If you like this video or learn a thing or two or new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Takalpung salamat. See you next time on Tagalog Kita Kits and in Kapampangan, Miki Ticks.